More than a century ago, engineer and inventor Nikola Tesla proposed a global system of wireless transmission of electricity or wireless power. Now his dream is coming true by the MIT researchers who took solid steps toward more practical wireless charging. They have started a company named as Vitricity, which will be providing wireless charging technology to mobile devices, electric cars and lot of other applications very soon. Vitricity is based on strong coupling between electromagnetic resonant objects to transfer energy wirelessly between them. Highly resonant wireless power transfer enables users to wirelessly deliver electricity over distance. Uh, my name is Marit Solicic. Uh, I'm a professor of physics at MIT and I'm also founder of Vitricity. It's a, a company that works on wireless power transfer. Here we have a source of electricity, uh, in this case sitting on a table, and then uh, this is like, a, you could call it like a receiver, and when I bring it some distance from the source, you can see power being transferred wirelessly from source to the device, irrespective of the, you know, orientation of the device, you know, if I put my hand in, in between, it doesn't interrupt it, I can uh, bring another device, so I can charge two devices at the same time, uh, so this is what our company does. Here's an example of a electricity pad that is plugged into the wall and what you'll see in here is a coil and electronics that create a resonant magnetic field and in the light um, we have a coil and electronics as well that's designed to pick that up and you'll see that when we get it within a certain distance there's a lot of flexibility in terms of the distance you can go from the pad and get it to continue to work. And as a matter of fact, it also works at different orientations. At uh, pads, uh, the uh, tablet computers that are now on the market. And you'll see what we did here because we haven't designed it in yet. We have about a millimeter thick coil that's placed on the back of the metal surface of the tablet with charging electronics to go into the actual uh, in an actual implementation, this coil would be built into the surface of the tablet and this electronics, most of it would be taken up by the existing battery charging circuit. So what you'll see that we can do is you could actually make a pad that could support a couple of different tablet computers. And then when you turned it on, you'll see that the tablets themselves both light up. So you'll see that the charging icons are on on both of these devices which is very exciting for these power-hungry devices. Now, one thing it's important to note is it's not essential that we actually keep it on the pad itself because what you'll see is as I place it up here and actually use the pad or the tablet itself, it's still charging while I'm in fact using the device itself. So this actually would be a great application for a home use where you sell the tablet computer along with the wireless charger. Here is that same pad that we were using in the other room, which creates a magnetic field, and you'll see it's plugged into a source of electricity. I have it on a remote control that I can turn it on remotely. And then in the floor tiles, that are here on, uh, around the floor, there's no physical electrical connection to anything on the floor. But what you'll see in the base of each of the floor tiles are what we call repeaters, or passive resonators. So these are objects that are also resonant at the same frequency. And an effective type of hopping or repeating occurs from the pad across every place on the floor to where electricity might be required to be used. And then what you'll see when I turn the lights on or turn the power on to the room, what you'll see happen when I turn the tablet on or turn the power on, you'll see that both of the objects are now lit up because the pad on the other side of the room is creating a magnetic field which is hopping across the room 
hopping from the floor into the base of the table and then into the devices. The Vitricity technology can charge an electric car with the vehicle parked about a foot above the transmitting pad. Back in December, Toyota licensed Vitricity technology for a future line of electric cars. And Vitricity signed a licensing agreement with Intel to integrate Vitricity technology into computing devices. Even if devices are moving, flipped, turned or twisted, you can transfer power through non-metallic materials like a desktop, glass window, a brick wall or an aquarium full of water and fish. Vitricity uses magnetic resonance to transfer energy and is safe for people and animals and fish. You'll be able to power two devices from a single source and experiment with a resonant repeater that lets wireless power hop over a larger distance, enhancing the range and flexibility of a wireless power solution. Present this technology charges devices at around 6 to 12 inches with roughly 95% efficiency, 12 watts for mobile devices and up to 6.6 kilowatts for cars.